Are you wondering what is the difference between Achilles tendonitis, tendonitis, tendinopathy, tendinosis? Well, to be honest, there's no difference. It basically boils down to an argument between researchers. Now, we can call them team tendonitis and team tendinopathy. So in this video, I'm going to explain what each of these names imply and why researchers feel they are correct when they use the one versus the other and also why we tend to use these terms interchangeably. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com, where you can get online physiotherapy treatment for your Achilles tendon injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to our website. So, what do these names imply? Now, medical terms that end in itis usually imply that uh, injury or condition is mainly caused by an excessive inflammatory response. Whereas medical terms that end in osis or in um, teno tendinopathy, like opathy, means that actually there's very little inflammation involved. And the main reason you've got the injury is that there's a disrepair or degeneration process going on, in this case, inside the tendon. Now, which one of these are correct? Well, actually it depends on what stage your injury is in or what actually caused your tendon pain or your tendon to flare up. So let's look at that in a bit more detail. So if we look at the research supporting the team tendonitis or ten tendonitis, then is there actually evidence that there's an excessive inflammatory response involved? Now, if we look at the evidence for overuse tendon injuries, which is the vast majority of tendon injuries made up of this, it's caused by people doing too much activity or too much of a sport, then what the research shows is that actually there may be some inflammation involved during the early stages of tendon pain if you've got an overuse injury, but it's usually not an excessive inflammatory response during that stage. However, if your tendon pain was caused by taking antibiotics like fluoroquinolones, or you have an inflammatory condition like gout or rheumatoid arthritis, then actually you do have an excessive inflammatory response in your tendon. And in those cases, the itis may actually apply. What about team tendinopathy or tendinosis? What research is there to back that claim up? Well, there is evidence that for ongoing tendon pain caused by overuse, where your pain's been grumbling on for several weeks or months usually, you actually have very little inflammation in the tendon. It may have had some inflammation during the early stages of the overuse injury, but then that goes away and it becomes more of a degenerative process in the tendon. So it seems that the tendinosis or tendinopathy label fits this type of tendinopathy in that stage. So what team are we on? Well, to be honest, we don't care what you call it, because depending on the stage your, your tendon is in, or what caused your tendon injury, either name may actually be more appropriate. What's more important is that you don't treat somebody according to the name of a condition you give them, but that you treat the person in front of you. What do I mean with this is you have to assess the person because every person's tendon pain, or whether it's a tendinopathy or tendinitis, presents in a different way. And you've got to design the treatment plan according to how sensitive their tendon is, how strong that tendon is what the capacity for it is to do activities like sports or walking or even just standing, what activities they want to get back to, and also what other health conditions they have or medication they may be on that may be affecting their rehab or their recovery. So that's what we use to treat people. We don't care what it's called. And we tend to use these terms of tendinitis, tendinopathy, uh, tendonitis, all of them in interchangeably because we want to make sure that people understand that our videos and our blog posts can help all of these conditions. It doesn't matter what it's called. Excellent. Hope you found that useful. And remember, if you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to our website is in the description of this video. Take care.